Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Uh, today I got this 2000 Toyota 4Runner. It's got the V6 motor, uh, 3.4 I believe. And uh, the customer uh, did a timing belt on this vehicle. So you can see the timing cover is still off. Uh, so they did the timing belt and after they did the timing belt kit uh, replacement, the vehicle wouldn't start. Uh, so I guess after that they kind of went around in circles. They the guy said he double checked the timing lined up the belt again and verified that the belt was on timing uh so i guess they assumed maybe there was a problem with the computer or something so it looks like they replaced the computer you can see there's a junkyard unit here on the floor uh and i guess the computer didn't change anything so they put the old one back in uh and i guess continued uh trying to mess around with it and try to figure out what was going on uh so basically the vehicle cranks but it does not start so anyways they brought the truck to me uh to check it out uh because i guess they you know just were stumped about uh what the problem was because according to them they did uh you know triple check the timing to make sure that the belt was on timing uh but the vehicle just it still does not start so let me go ahead and show you uh what it's doing i'm gonna go ahead and put the key in i'm gonna crank it All right, so you can hear it cranking, uh, but it does not start. One of the things that I should mention is that while I'm cranking it, sometimes I do hear like a, a popping through the exhaust or a back popping through the intake, which kind of leads me to believe that it is a problem with the timing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a cam and crank correlation. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I just wanna show you that I, I did check for any codes uh, stored in the, in the system, in the computer, uh, but there are no codes stored. Uh, so really there's no codes in the history. There's no codes pending uh, So there's no help really from that end. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a cam and crank correlation All right, so we got the lab scope hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it All right, let's check out what we got All right guys, so I'm here in the office. I got my lab scope. This is the waveform that I uh, captured on the vehicle and uh i've got iatn open i'm having a little trouble trying to find a known good waveform uh, i found a couple of uh bad waveforms known bad or this one's an unknown here uh but actually i can tell pretty quickly uh that we have a problem here and uh let me show you let me show you what i've uh, what i've located here uh so if you look at the uh waveform pattern that we have here you'll see uh, down here in the green channel is going to be our crank sensor and this yellow channel is going to be our cam sensor uh, so uh, if you look here you're going to see these kind of elongated tooth patterns and uh, that's going to be the sink for the crank sensor and if you look at the cam sensor what i'm looking at here is that it kind of looks like this is lined up with that sink um, but let me go ahead and zoom out and just kind of show you uh, Show you what I don't like about this waveform. So in between the two cam signals, this is 720 degrees of crank rotation. And if you look, I'm seeing a lot of these sinks in between the two cam pulses, uh, which if you look at the waveform here, what you should see, if this was lined up uh, correctly, you would see that there's only uh, one pulse between the two cam sensor pulses. So what this leads me to believe is that there's most likely some damage on the reluctor wheel of the crank gear. Again, let me show you the uh, waveform here. These are the two cam sensor pulses and this is the crank sensor signal right here and you'll see a lot of these uh, sink notch looking things. Let me zoom that back in. Go ahead and zoom it back in. So you can see there's a lot of these uh, little teeth and then uh, like a gap maybe where there's a tooth missing and then again there's another gap where there's like a tooth missing and then again looks like another gap uh, so one of these is probably supposed to be there uh, but for sure these are not all supposed to be there so let me pull up an image of what the uh, timing gear looks like okay so it's going to look something like this and if you look at this picture, let me see if I can get a, okay. 
Got a good shot of the image here. So if you look at this, you'll see that there's a bunch of uh, little teeth that are evenly spaced all the way around the gear. And then there's a sink notch right here where the teeth are missing. Uh, so if you can imagine that if some of these uh, teeth were missing or if there was some type of contamination on them, I mean, it's possible, uh, it could create a false sink uh, sink uh, pattern and that's going to confuse the that's going to confuse the computer uh, it's going to throw off the injection uh, pattern it's going to throw off the spark pattern uh, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and remove the crank and uh, take a look at that gear and see what we can find all right so i had my guy take the uh, timing belt off and remove the uh, the crank gear as you can see you should look around the crank gear you'll see that sink notch that we were seeing on the picture and if you look around here we got some missing teeth right there got some missing teeth right here right here and all together kind of looks like this gear got chewed up so anyways i called and i talked to the owner and uh, i asked him you know what might have happened uh, in order to cause this kind of damage and uh, he actually told me it makes a lot of sense because uh, his previous mechanic i guess dropped a hose clamp down in the timing cover and uh attempted to crank the vehicle and so i guess that's probably what happened is that the hose clamp got wedged in the crank gear and caused all the damage to the reluctor wheel so uh anyways uh he was really uh ecstatic to you know learn that we figured it out so quickly because uh as it turned out he had his mechanic look at it uh they couldn't figure it out and then he took it to another mechanic where they had it for a few weeks and they replaced the computer, they replaced some coils, injectors, and a cam and crank sensor they put in there. Uh, anyways, he said he's really deep into it as far as how much money he's got invested into it, um, but uh, they still couldn't find out what the problem was. So anyways, here's the, uh, the new part. I got this from Toyota. Uh, here's the part number if anyone's interested. <clears throat> And uh, let me just open this up and show you the difference here. If I could get this thing open. Sorry, I got a messy desk right now. So there's our new one, and here is the old one. So I'll just kind of line them up together. Uh, and as you can see, we have the sink notch, the evenly spaced teeth around the wheel here, and of course, the one with the broken teeth. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, please like the video. If uh, you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can always comment down below and I will try to answer everybody that I can. Uh, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.